Hey, Tony Candela with CE Auto Electric here with Tony D. Moore from D. Moore Engineering. And we've got uh, Juan's Nissan Altima in the garage today. And we'd like to do a little measurements and discuss one of the things that's often discussed in the forums, which is, is it better to use the frame and or body as the return path for your audio system or actually run cable to do that? So what we've got is we've got one of uh, our CE Auto Electric Supplies big three kits installed in this vehicle and we're going to measure the voltage drop between the battery negative and the amplifier distribution blocks as that is and then we're going to disconnect that and we're going to substitute this 15 foot length of full specification oxygen free copper one watt cable in the place of the vehicle chassis and see which one has lower voltage drop. This is a typical audio system, has a BD1500 and a couple of 600 watt amplifiers. So we're going to load those amplifiers down so we can actually get the voltage drop. Actually load the T1500 only. So let's, uh, let's do it. Okay, so we've got this Fluke 189 True RMS multimeter connected up. The negative is going to go to our battery negative and then the positive actually goes to the rear of the vehicle through a long jumper lead. And with it idling we've got about 16 millivolts right now so that that's really just kind of noise. So we're going to load the amplifier um, with the uh, DMOR Engineering 81 amp dyno and we're going to look at how much voltage drop is between the battery negative and between the amplifier distribution point in the back using the chassis of this vehicle, which is a unibody vehicle. So go ahead, guys. Okay, so what we're doing is, now that we've recorded that, we use the min-max setting in this meter so we can capture the, the real information. 286 millivolts was what the meter captured on the display, but let's take a look at what the maximum actually was. Maximum in this case is the same at 286.3. So, now we're doing the same thing with a piece of one out wire. So now what we've done is we've connected a piece of one aught. Uh, this is the 15 foot length I showed you at the beginning of the video, right to the negative battery terminal, and it runs right to the back to the distribution block of the amplifiers at the same place we were actually connected to before that that went to the frame. And we've got our probe in the same place, connected to the battery negative, same place in the back and we're also gonna log the maximum voltage. So guys, let's do it. All right, we're good up here. Good. So as you can see here, now we've got 325 millivolts and we'll just toggle through real quick to make sure that is the maximum. That is 325 millivolts. So in a second, we're gonna recap. So just bear with us. Okay, so we saw the uh, voltage drop across the chassis of the vehicle versus the voltage drop across a 15 foot piece of OT gauge, oxygen free uh, OT gauge cable. And uh, the voltage drop across the OT gauge cable was about 14% higher than, it, than the voltage drop across the chassis. So what this means is that, you know, if you have a system that's 2500 watts or less probably uh, the chassis of the vehicle is just fine at least in this case on this vehicle and this is a, a newer vehicle but it is a unit body vehicle and you know there's not really a complete frame and we see that it's still better than a piece of out gauge cable so if you know we wanted to make it better than the chassis you could use two out gauge cables or something like that but for most installs the chassis in this case is, is better than the cable yeah like two as in quantity two two of these 
and then what you're talking about is just cost first benefit and that's a pretty expensive proposition so hope that answers the question for you guys stay tuned for more of these videos in the future